Beautiful, darling. Mum, don't. You and your sisters used to love playing in this world. We also like to eat our own snot. Oh, I just really loved the script when I first read it. I thought it was so sparkly. Uh, it made me laugh and I thought it was witty, but it was also about something really important and the themes of feminism, of representation. And I knew nothing really about Miss World uh, or especially, you know, the competition in 1970. And I just thought it was such a fascinating year that these two things happened at the same time, sort of groundbreaking moments for women in terms of the women's liberation movement storming the ceremony on live TV and the first woman of colour winning the competition. They're turning oppression into spectacle. Let's make a spectacle of our own. We'd infiltrate the theatre. It was just a very important story to tell, but also what I loved about it, it didn't just tell the story of the women's liberation movement and what they were doing and planning to put women's liberation on the map, but it also told the story of the contestants and I think in beauty pageants, we, we objectify women, don't we? We just look at them as clothes horses. But I really wanted to get behind the scenes in the, in the competition and really explore the characters of the contestants and, and find out about them and, and, and find out why they wanted to be in these pageants. And it was, it was interesting to me that women used the beauty pageant to launch themselves. In 1970, there were so few opportunities for women so we have to respect the fact that these women did that to, to, to get themselves out of a boring job or to make more of themselves then. It's not you we're angry at. I look forward to having your choices in life. There was a really pivotal scene between myself and Kira Knightley in the film where after all the pageantry and the protests, you know, the two women uh, meet together, um, you know, quite by accident in The Ladies Lose. And, uh, you know, it's really a moment where you get to see that, you know, the two sides of the, the debate in a sense and that there's different ways um, to express your feminism. I think it's easy to judge someone like Jennifer Hostin for being a beauty queen, but actually she was really, you know, a trailblazer for her time. And um, she had very different opportunities um, to Kira's character, Sally. So I think, you know, um, I love the fact that the film showed those two perspectives. I don't want you to think I'm some kind of brute that doesn't consider the feelings of women. I consider feeling women all the time. Get this. I was so lucky to work with an amazing casting director called Nina Gold, and she helped us draw together this stupendous cast. I've always wanted to work with Kira Knightley. I think she's an incredible actress, um, and Goo Goo just inhabited Jennifer Hostin so beautifully with such poise and dignity and subtlety. And for Jo as well, having Jessie Buckley play her, I'm such a fan of Jessie, um, with, with, with such mischief and, and good cheer and, and fantastic energy. We were blessed with our cast. This competition makes us compete with each other and makes the world narrower for all of us in the end. Some special scenes in the film, one notably where the women are forced to turn their bottoms to the audience uh, to be, you know, viewed uh, 360. And, um, you know, that was so shocking to me when I saw it in the original competition. It was just so misogynistic and objectifying. And Philippa takes that moment and extends it, puts the cameras on, instead of in the audience on the women's faces. And I just thought that was so incredibly empowering because you really get to see what the women are going through. Uh, so there's many moments like that where, you know, Philippa brings all of these details out and it really is from the women's perspective. Thank you for watching Picture House Cinema's unique video content. Hit the subscribe button to be kept up to date with our movie news, cast and crew interviews, highlights, trailers and lots more.